who would I most like to have a one-to-one -one with? A man who inspired a generation. Martin Luther King. I just want to do God. He's seen a second class just because of the color of his skin. I've the promised land. And if there was one incident that drove him to become part of the civil rights movement, was he ever frightened of those who opposed him? And did he realize how much he frightened them? Most of all, if I could have a one-to-one -one with him, I'd ask him how he maintained his principle of peace and protest. We've got some difficult days ahead. In the face of such provocation. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountain top. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Who would you most like to have a one-to-one -one with? Okay. Does your heart still flutter when you look at Tom? Flutter? I think it's more like sigh, I guess. I mean, well, I always feel this way about Ryan. Sure. Um, the things came. But how? Look, aren't we supposed to be looking for something old or something new or something borrowed? Come on. Did you have someone's closet? Chris. Oh, okay. Um, you know, look at Mom and Dad. They've been married forever, right? I bet they don't get butterflies every time that they look at each other. But they're still in love. Yeah. Dad doesn't bring Mama Rose every morning. And Mom, Mom wears these to bed. Guess what? Sexy, huh? Oh, I hope Brian and her stores. Hmm. That's just what love changes. I guess what happens is that you get to a point where you don't need to say certain things anymore. Because certain things don't need to be said. Like Mom and Dad. My love for you is as much part of the universe as the sun, the moon, and the stars. The only difference is that my love will last longer. Wow, oh, Mom. Still forget everything I just said. What? Your heart will always fly. Look at Mom and Dad. Jeffrey Barkins. Thank you, sweetheart. Noel O'Neill. George Fair. Andy Brock. Dennis Gale. Guy Jones. Ethel Allen. John Potter. Gordon Valley. Here's the second. David Jackson. This is his story. Mr. Potter. Bob Cox. Eric Allen. <laughs> uh -huh. That was good. Uh, you took care of everything, right? Yeah, the money went through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Johnny. It's time. You hear that? It's time. <laughs> now, don't you worry. The government's going to come. Of course they're going to come. Everybody's got their pride. <laughs> right. May God have mercy on your soul. The name of the Father. See you in a minute, boys. Jonathan Wayne Braley, you have been tried and convicted in the Supreme Court of this state. The particular heinous nature of your crimes has dictated you be sentenced to death by electrocution this 23rd day of January 1987. <laughs> Any last words? Yeah. 
keep that phone for you. I'm expecting an important call. Thank you. your life or who you are, you have to learn to simplify, minimize our dependence on material things. I mean, all I need, everything I own on this earth is in my van. My van? Where's my van? Mama. Use an anti-theft device. It was like fairy tale. I was one of 800 girls. I'm really here. I was a kid from Sarajevo, with this little kid, but now oh, I'm now the capital of the world. We never thought that, in fact, that time was just calm before the storm. First I heard grenades, and after that I went on my balcony, I could see just uh, burning. Zetra was really a place for young people. That's inside of Zetra. We felt like a sport had died in Sarajevo. I can't put together these two things. The plan of the Olympics and the plan of destroying. People have to realize that it's time to change the gun for the hammer. Sirens for stone. <laughs> These who were up in the hills could never convince me that we cannot live together. We had 50 nations fighting for medals, not for territories. You can destroy many things, you know, but what happened to us when the Olympics came to Sarajevo? This we had just alive. Papel. Enquanto buscavam a forma ideal para o carro mais revolucionário da fábrica nas últimas décadas, os designers da Mercedes tiveram competidores perigosos. Eles mesmos. Até ganhar forma, um Mercedes é uma enorme lista de desejos. Todos os setores da fábrica dizem o que querem de um novo veículo. Technical concept is based here on the intelligent uh, floor because that was the reason for us that we have the same safety as in a big car. Um pouco mais de três metros e meio de comprimento, ele tem tanto espaço interno quanto um sedã de luxo da Mercedes. E o arranjo dos bancos acomoda cinco adultos ou abre uma área de mais de 1.700 litros, maior que quase todas as caminhonetes do mercado. Semana que vem, a tradição de fazer motor mais respeitada da história, do primeiro carro do mundo ao classe A.
eles não começaram ontem. 